uh, for the grand opening of our region's first bicycle commuter station. This bike station is the result. This bike station is the result of the Federal Energy Efficiency and Conservation Block Grant Program under the American Recovery and Reinvestment uh, Act and an excellent public-private partnership. And I know many of all of you are here today that helped with this and a lot of hard work uh, from a lot of people. We're here to make St. Louis a more attractive and sustainable place to live, a place where it's easier to get around in and, of course, uh, with the high cost of fuel and people's um, interest in wanting to get to places in a more efficient and a more economical way, uh, we're, we're trying to help make St. Louis a better place to do all that. St. Louis has already been awarded uh, the designation of a bicycle-friendly city, and we're working on making our uh, uh, impact there even greater. And the downtown bi bicycle station will give many St. Louis commuters a chance to have a healthier, more environmentally friendly way of life while still conforming to the socially acceptable hygiene practices. Uh, it's also a lot of fun, and uh, it also helps people uh, get a chance to really take a closer look at St. Louis rather than flying by in an automobile. I've heard so many people say that they would consider riding a bicycle to work if they had a place to shower. Now there is a place. I've heard complaints that there isn't a good place to store their bicycles. Now there is a place. And with this station in close proximity to the Metrolink station, even far away commuters uh, could get to work without a car. This bicycle station is giving people options, and that is a good thing. It's allowing more people to use our city, city's many miles of bikes and trails and bike lanes. It is helping to further our city's bicycle initiative, and in, prog in the progress, it's taking automobiles off the roads, making our air cleaner, and getting our residents in better shape. These are all great things. This bicycle station belongs to downtown, it belongs to all of you. This region's highest job density is just within blocks of where we are standing today. I don't want the wind to blow these off here. And the city of St. Louis leads the country with the highest percentage of young, well-educated people moving to the urban core, and we're very proud of that. These bright, Young people with fresh ideas are attracted to sustainability, and we're excited to add the downtown bicycle station to the city's growing list of sustainability features. These kinds of innovative and pro progressive ideas uh, are the ideas that will keep the city moving forward and attracting more residents as well as visitors. As we know, this station was a long time in the making. It was something that many people wanted to see for a long time. Jay, Rob, and David, thank you for your oversight. Trailnet and Downtown St. Louis Partnership, thank you for your hard work. Big Shark, thank you for deciding to add Urban Shark uh, to, your, to your family. I want to also thank Great Rivers Greenway, Boeing, the William A. Kerr Foundation, Loftworks, Metro, U.S. Bank, the Laclede Group, Force, Schlichter, Bogard, and Denton, McGowan Brothers Development, and Webster University for all their support. Without that, them all working together, this would not have happened. And of course, <laughs> let's give everybody a round of applause. And of course, we wouldn't be here without the support of the United States Department of Energy. I understand that Jason Randall, uh, branch chief of the DOE's Energy Efficiency and Conservation Block Grant program is here from Colorado to help us celebrate uh, this exciting event. Thank you, Jason. Where is Jason, by the way? Is he here? I don't think he made it. Oh, he didn't make it? All right. He didn't make it. Well, thanks, thanks so from far away. The downtown bicycle station is one part of the city's cycling initiative, just one part of it. With the EEC BG funding, the city is also repainting its bike lanes and placing bike racks on our most widely used municipal buildings and parks. We work with the cycling community to develop a design that can be used not only by the city, but by others as well. I'm very pleased today to share with you the city's newly customized design for bike racks. And here are some of the uh, posters that uh, we, we uh, with your help, picked out, and you'll see more of these around the city. 
I encourage St. Louis commuters to consider joining and supporting the uh, downtown bicycle station. You can pur pur purchase your memberships from Trailnet, who will be soon moving their offices to the space. And for all your bike-related needs, downtown, check out Urban Shark. We're glad to have them here as a part of our hometown community. The following speakers will discuss details of the bike station, uh, and then I'll open it up for um, uh, I will uh, open it up for questions at the end. But I want to recognize uh, the alderwoman of the just say hello to the alderwoman of the seventh ward, alderwoman Phyllis Young, who I've had the pleasure of working with on so many things for longer than both of us would like to admit. And she does a great job not only downtown but as a leader and in the, uh, the Board of Aldermen. Right now, I'll invite Meg King Campbell from the Partnership of Downtown St. Louis to discuss how this will impact downtown. Maggie, thank you so much for your organization and your support for this. This is uh, something we really appreciate. Thank you, Mayor Slay. Thanks for your vision and leadership to help realize this public-private partnership so that our downtown employees now have another option for committing to work. Workers can bike knowing that their bike is in a safe and secure place. They can store their bike and their clothes in a comfortable place to shower so they can arrive at work ready to go. This is also a great public facility to serve our downtown workforce that wants to get out at lunch or maybe work or uh, after work to bike our, our great city. Our downtown next vision, our 2020 vision for, for downtown's future. So many stakeholders asked us to make downtown more walkable and bikeable, in short, more connected. And we, we believe that this small but mighty facility will go a long way in achieving that. The, so the federal funds that were secured by the city of St. Louis helped pay for the lockers and the mechanical racks that are inside the bike station and we'll be doing some tours after the ribbon cutting. Um, and then the DOE funds are also paying for the important startup years of operations. And our partnerships with Urban Shark and Trailnet will hopefully build the sustainable base along with membership that will make this a success for many years. I won't thank again the capital donors who paid for the actual facility build out. Um, the mayor recognized them and we, without them, could not be here today. I'm also pleased to announce that Boeing this week has committed to giving the downtown bicycle station another $25,000 in the form of a challenge grant to do additional capital improvements. So once we raise another $25,000, we'll be able to transform this alley into a pedestrian friendly hangout for cyclists. Um, so help us with that. Our first contribution toward the $25,000 challenge grant was McCormick Baron Salazar, who signed up to be our first corporate member. With your corporate membership, it's $1,000 a year. You get 10 memberships that your, your employees can share and several personalized briefings. So if you're interested in corporate membership, please see um, someone with Trailnet. I would like to make a special note of thanking our landlord, Craig Heller who was very patient as we figured out exactly what this facility would look like and how it would operate. Every time we went and visited another bike station, we came back with a whole bunch of things we wanted to do different. He was very patient with us as a good partner, and we look forward to working with him. I'd also like to acknowledge Mike Weiss, the owner of Big Shark and now Urban Shark. It's great to have a corporate retailer in the market um, who you know, makes a commitment to downtown, puts his money where his mouth is, and shares our vision for a bike-centric city. So at this time, I'd like to introduce the other two partners that helped realize this part, this project, although there are many more behind the scenes and as part of our donors that have made this possible. First, Susan Troutman, who with the support of her board, made the first substantial donation to the construction of the downtown bicycle station. This is what kick-started the whole project and gave our organization the confidence we needed to move forward in raising the rest of the capital. And Ann Mack, I'd ask you guys to come up together and maybe each speak for a moment. Ann Mack from Trailnet, who not only contributed to the construction, but has indicated a willingness to take over management of the bike station in two years when the federal grant dollars are exhausted. Ann has served as a trusted advisor and advocate and supporter of this new downtown amenity from day one. So thank you so much. Thank you, Maggie. I could not be more delighted to be here today. When she first approached us and said, hey, we need some money, can you help? Yes, we can. This is a big part of what Great Rivers Greenway District represents. Through our regional plan, our goal is to make St. Louis a better place to live, and one of our major objectives